Now, you have a very interesting story. Mm. Your older sister, Jane, went through a series of possessions a few years ago. Can you tell us what happened? So basically what happened was my sister uh, was, uh, I would say, um, having weird experiences where she was perfectly normal Mm -hmm. one day. And then there was suddenly started screaming and shouting, almost mental like kind of uh, symptoms. Right. So that um, was a little bit uh, scary at that point of time. Mm -hmm. So during that time when this happened, when she started screaming and all that, we didn't really uh, thought or it didn't cross our mind that it was something supernatural per se right so it just started one day she just started screaming yeah yeah she just started screaming and all that it was we thought it was more of a mental issue oh. but then as 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 it went by probably i would say three four weeks after that wow uh, it started becoming a little bit weirder because she started giving uh or sharing experiences of what she's dreaming mm-hmm. and um the pain that she is feeling sometimes random heat Sometimes mm-hmm. random coldness, all all these kind of things. Basically, right after that, we started considering that oh, this could be something supernatural. Right. Uh, and we started asking uh, professionals to right. see. Well, um, just going back to when she mm. first started screaming, mm. Um, mm. did you not think to you know dig deep and find out why this is suddenly happening? I mean, did you take her to a psychiatrist? Did your parents? you know, sit her down and ask her if she was having, you know, depression. To put it into like a a proper story where it makes it a little bit context, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, She was actually dating a guy at that point of time, right? Um, So when she was dating this guy, he was a very nice man and all that. Somehow, uh, they broke up, Mm. right? So when they did, uh, she suddenly went into this whole... um, uh, screaming and shouting and all that kind of thing. So right. that's when we thought, oh, this could be a mental breakdown, issue, yeah. mental breakdown, because of heartbreak. Breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we did was first we went and consulted a uh, medical professional per se, without her knowing because we didn't really want to inflict it on her. Mm-hmm. And doctor said, ah, it's, it, it, if it is, it's not something of a major concern. I mean, I mean emotional toll. That's 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 really about it. But as time progressed, it became a little bit more scary, I would say, or a little bit more weird, where she started getting these attacks at uh, odd times, uh, which would be around 7.30. Okay. Sometimes early in the morning, mm. sometimes uh, right in the afternoon. And when you say attacks, meaning uh, shouting, screaming attacks. Correct, yeah. Right. So, for an example, uh, she would uh, sit in her room and she would tell my mother, she would say, oh... Um, not really feeling too well, feverish. And my mom said, okay, I'll go get you medicine, for example. Uh, suddenly, randomly, she would sit up and she would start grunting. Oh, gosh. Right. So, uh, I still remember when, when I was there. I mean, I was probably, I think, around the age of uh, 15, 16 mm-hmm. or so. So, it, it totally took me off guard like I would be sitting probably in the living room just imagine just picture the situation I'm sitting in the living room she would be in the room and this was before we came to any conclusion that this was anything supernatural we had um, we suspected it Uh, she would suddenly sit up grunt and she would look look at you yeah she would look or she would look at anybody who was there Mm -hmm. but she would not move Mm. and then she would snap out of it so we are thinking like oh what, 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 what exactly is happening and then that was fine so it was very short short attacks per se mm-hmm. then it started becoming a little bit worse when she had attacks and she started speaking while she was in this attack so she started describing things so for an example she would be screaming probably at 7 30 so she would start screaming and then she would say uh, to my mom uh, ma it's hot ma it's cold Ma, this, I, I'm seeing this thing. I'm seeing this figure. I'm seeing this and that. And then she would snap out of it. Mm-hmm. So there was still no, like I would say, 100% exorcism per se where, you know, like you see in movies where they start, you know, saying, oh, I'm going to kill you and all. It's nothing like that. Right. It's okay. very subtle. So that was the second level, I guess, the, the mm-hmm. progress. 
And then came the third one. That was when it was the most uh, freaky. Okay, did things start flying off the shelves? Uh, no. <laughs> did she start levitating? No, 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 no nothing, nothing of that sort, thankfully. Um, but what happened was uh, that creature or that being started coming into her body and communicating with us. Oh, where, gosh. Yeah, yeah. So that was really freaky. I still remember uh, one of the incidents was I, the the first time I would say mm-hmm. that this happened. Uh, she had an attack, mm-hmm. uh, and then that being was speaking on behalf of her. Okay. They were saying uh, she. The thing was saying that uh, because when she gets these attacks, we mm-hmm. start, um, I would say, reciting yes. prayers and all that. Mm-hmm. So you say, oh, you think this is going to help you? Sometimes it would repeat mm. what we are reciting. Oh goodness! And that was the most um, eerie thing to see. Yeah. Uh, was it in her voice, or did her voice change at this point? Uh, it was in her voice. It was completely in her voice. There was no change of. Uh, so what you see in in typical, I would say, movies didn't Horror really. Movies. Yeah. yeah. Her didn't eyes didn't really, turn black. No, no. It it it, it, it was it was nothing like that. Mm. It was just. Uh, the most freaky thing that um, really happened was when it started s- describing instances where even she wouldn't know because she wasn't too good at reciting mm-hmm. verses per se, prayers right. verses. Right. Right. But suddenly she did. Okay. Right. So when when we were reciting something and we stopped at a certain point of time, mm-hmm. she will continue and Ooh. you will mock it. Okay. So was, it was a mocking speech. Yeah, yeah, it was mocking. Mm. Uh, it, I still remember that very clearly. Mm. Um, that was when I guess my mom decided that, oh, this we need help, right? Um, not normal help. Yeah. 